Hey guys, Gunshin here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. In the last episode, uh, we went for a bit of a wander around the Riften countryside uh, and ended up fighting all manner of creatures, uh, cultists, we had dragons, bears, frostbite spiders, a couple of bandits, so you know, <laughs> definitely interesting. Um, but we're here in, um, I can't remember the name of the place now, hold on, oops, ah, there it is. Uh, we're in Brokenhelm Hollow to find the Moon Amulet for one of the Khajiits who we found randomly wandering around Riften as well. Um, so yeah, let's get it done. Um, it's a bandit camp, so hopefully we should only have to deal with bandits. Because I'm kind of running low on uh, potions, to be honest. Uh, fortified marksman, I have two left, so hopefully no big hitters. Okay, so obviously I'm not supposed to go that way. I've got a high tech security system set up. Hmm, Corundamore. Good, useful in steel when you combine it with uh, iron ore, but at this, ga this stage in the game, I'm not really that interested now. Um, as what I'm probably going to do at some point is switch out my ebony armor that I'm currently sporting. Um, for some kick-ass dragon, oh, hello, and the sleeping, there's one down, no, no, don't get up, I insist, don't get up, so don't get up, okay, that's cool, <clears throat> so what time is it, well, that's what you get for sleeping in the afternoon, guys, <laughs> I just cut this siesta short, literally, um, quite a lot of ingredients in here, Cabbage, who cares? Potato, who cares? What the hell? Take everything. What's your story? Yeah, what the hell? Take everything as well. Okay, there's a chain there. <clears throat> and the bus is up there, so yeah, I might as well take him out first. Hopefully, he's going to be sleeping as well. He is. <laughs> nice one. Surprise! Wake up, Carl. Don't get up. Thank you. And uh, just check the map. And it's cleared, excellent. So that's that done. Let's see if it's got anything worth taking. Darkest darkness. Whatever. Iconic Skyrim helmet. It's a shame that it's the most famous thing in Skyrim, and yet at the same time, it's actually the crappiest helmet you can get. <laughs> so, level. <clears throat> Must have already learned that one. Oh man. Yep, heavy ass Nordic armor. Now, if you wanted to make your own Nordic armor, um, all you need is um, steel, tons of it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but you can only get it, I think, it's due to the, again, the Dawn Guard DLC. So if you don't have that, you can't. Um, if you check out some of the earlier episodes in this series, I did actually use the Nordic stuff for a while. That's what we came for, the moon amulet, so I might as well take it. Oh, and it was trapped. Oops, I normally check, but I didn't. Still, didn't do any damage, not a problem. So, uh, that's that for this place. Let's just go check out this cave. Let's see what's going on here. More corundum. What the hell have them? Ooh, an unfortunate soul. Huh. Okay. Life now. Um we need to go I don't even remember picking up this quest. 
Uh, we need to go to return to someone called Gruster. Fair enough. What's that? Frostbite. Hmm. Alright then. So, <clears throat> that's another bunch of side missions done and done. So, just for the hell of it. So let's get out of here. Alrighty then, so, um, where are we supposed to go to return this? Oh man, he's all the way over there. Now this is going to be the problem returning this to this guy, because obviously they travel around, so by the time we get here, uh, he's probably going to be gone, but we'll try it. Oh, excellent, he's still here. This one needs something? Yep, I have your amulet. There it is. Ah, home. Hmm. If you ever need the skills of a Khajiit warrior by your side, I would be honored to travel with you. Until then, here. This is for you. In thanks. <clears throat> wow, 1,500 gold. And we also get a, uh, a follower. Then lead on, friend. Hang on. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We I will shoulder Let's some of your burden. Uh, steel mace, silver ring, food, gold. Nothing that interesting. So see ya. <laughs> home is where you will find me. Already. That's one of the good things about the um, companions when you get them. But for now, uh, let's get on to return to this Grosta, we might as well. I'm not even sure where she is. Oh, okay, Heartwood Mill. Go there. Whoops. Ah, oh, this is the annoying thing. Because when it's locked like that, if you go in, um, they won't speak to you. I'm here to start some trouble. I'll fight you if I have to. My mother taught me the mill work. Someday... I'm not afraid of anyone. That's Put a nice. Sword okay, so we'll wait till daytime. Oof. Brightness. Um, excellent. All right. Um, Can I help you? Everything's much to steal at the moment. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. So, in the... Oh, man, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> So annoying um, when they just kind of disappear mid sentence. Now, where's she at? There she is. You men are utter pigs. You only care about one thing. Okay, sorry. Well, I found uh, Life Now's body. No, it can't be. Oh, now you changed, Jim. Oh, my. And all this time I was thinking he'd been unfaithful to me. I feel so stupid. That's because you I've are. I've been a fool, wasting my time sitting here helpless when I could have sent help sooner. Perhaps this is all my doing. What's done is done. Here, I want you to have this. Bringing me closure was kind of you. Yay! That's pretty decent loot, actually. Drop by and see us again if you're Can't be bothered here. looting a house. All right. Um, what can we do next? Because uh, I just want to do one more thing. Where's this? It's been ages since we killed the giant. Uh, sleeping tree camp. Oof. It's a bit of a track, but it could be fun. Closest discovered point. Uh, I could maybe go around that way. Alright. <clears throat> Alrighty, it's night time again, so just to make it more interesting for YouTube and also because I hate vampires, I'm going to wait till daytime, so hold on one second. Alrighty, it's light again, so, um, <clears throat> hang on, have we got any other quests marked as active? Yeah, let's disactivate that for now, otherwise we'll get lost. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly do this, um, kill this giant, uh, just because it's ages since we've done one of those. Um, and this is actually one of the sort of drawbacks with fast travelling everywhere, is that unless you actually take the time to explore Skyrim, you find yourself, you know, it's quite, whoa, 
Hey, buddy. How dare you try and sneak up on me? That's what you get. Arrow in the ass. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what I was saying, and um, before I was so rudely interrupted, is one of the drawbacks of fast traveling everywhere or using the Skyrim tax service is you find yourself then trying to find the nearest place to where your mission is and it's not actually that near so it's always kind of a good idea if you've got the time I mean obviously I'm a bit constrained with, uh, with making this series because I have to do it as quick as possible that's a good way of getting into Fort Greymore by the way if you don't want to go in the front door which we'll explore at some point um, but yeah it's just kind of I mean Skyrim is just a beautiful place the game world I mean check it out that scenery is amazing and there's a mammoth with no giant. We likes. <laughs> Give me that soul. I'm a soul man. Anyway, um, where are we going? Yeah, we're going this way. So yeah, I definitely recommend, um, you know, taking the time to explore some cave. I mean, some caves are really not worth it. Um, other caves you can actually kind of jinx missions because you'll come across an item. Like for example, the um, Flynn's loot that we've already found we know exists in um, in uh, Stony Creek Cave. The problem is if you take it beforehand for some reason. I did it on a on another place I was doing. You know, while I was experimenting with this stuff. And then it just kind of glitched out on me. I couldn't hand in the quest ever in the Bard's College. There was just no way. And it was just annoying. Oh man, you really... Seriously? Seriously? Ski back. Robin Hood moment? Nope. It was a complete fake. Another Robin Hood moment. Oh, oh, oh! Boo! Right, let's go get it. You, sir, leave that. Leave that alone. Leave Bambi alone. Leave Bambi alone. Is this going to be real, or is it going to be another fake? Ha! Excellent. Now, did he actually. Take care of Bambi for us. I think he did. Damn, we were too late. Sorry, Bambi, I tried to save you. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get back on on track. And yeah, basically, I mean, it's up to you. But personally, um, if you're playing this for enjoyment, then I definitely recommend taking the time to just wander around. The only thing is anything that looks like it might, anything that's named, any sort of named items you come across on your travels, just don't pick up, leave them there. And that way the um, the mission shouldn't glitch on you. Oh, I'm on fire today. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Mammoth. Yeah. Timber! <laughs> oh no, but he had a friend. That's bad. That's bad. Uh oh, that's very bad. Run away! He's right on me as well, I think. Alrighty. Last maximum potion. Timber! You were thinking about it, it's like, am I dead? Am I not dead? <laughs> so anyway, um, that's that done. But we're nowhere near... We're going to have to take down these giants now without any... fortified maximum potions, which should be quite interesting. Ooh, it's got a cool glowing tree. <clears throat> now, where is the giant?
You'll be sent here by if you marry your solder as well. She has like a Hey buddy. Gonna paralyze him. Not taking a chance. Because we don't have any better damage potions, so. Ooh. Excellent. And oh, we had to hand this in on white run. Excellent. How are we doing for weight? We're getting quite weighted down. Damn it, we are overweight. Um, yeah, how's that? Well, still overweight. I'm by one. What the heck? Um, have some boots then. Okay, so that's that done. Um, is there anything we could go? Well, we'll go to White Run. We'll go collect the reward. Uh, that links in with a Daedric quest we've got to do. Bard's College is another Daedric quest. Uh, that's in Solitude. All right, I've got a plan. Uh, we're going to give in this um, bounty, and then we might as well continue the next stage of the. Oh, actually, we might as well call in our friends of Dark Brotherhood because ages since we've been there. All right, so let's do that, and then we'll pick up the uh, Thieves Guild quest. So for now, let's go to Dragon's Reach. There it is. Whoop. What the hell? How many soldiers? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Um, all right, where is this guy? Man. There he is. So let's get this bounty. Divines bless you. Excellent. You've done us a great service. I know, I know. Here is your reward. Game of the money. Hundred gold. What a cheapskate. All right. One thing I'm going to do as well while we're, while we're here, um, I'm going to check to the Jarl's bedchamber, see if there's a gem. One of these special gemstones, because we need to get 24 of them, and they're scattered all over the place. <clears throat> so, yep. Alright, let's have a mooch around and see what we can see. Um, uh oh, hello, don't mind me. And there it is, excellent. Now instead of unusual gem, that actually marks the stones of Baron Zaya, so we'll have that. It's not classed as stealing either, which is useful. Where am I? I'm totally lost. <laughs> Okay, so um not really bothered about the ingredients, we've got tons. Um one thing we'll do though, let's go see the wizard and see if we can sell some stuff to him. So let's get our business gear on. So where is it? Uh Thieves Guild Hood. And I'm overweight because I'm using light armor. Put on Bart's Bling and uh actually first of all let's Are see if we can sick? disenchant stuff. Mm, just the iron shield are blocking. Alrighty, fair enough. You sir, don't go anywhere. Divine smile. Come to dragons re spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay, um I have those. What the hell? Hmm. 
and let's start selling. Okay, you can have that. No money for that. Have that. Okay, that's him done. Uh, let's go speak to the other traders, I guess. There's not much else we can do. How are we doing for weight? 365, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, because it's kind of boring um, just watching me trade things. Uh, I'm not going to do anything exciting. I'm just going to basically ditch all the stuff we've got on board. Um, one thing I will do, though, is we need to speak to the woman in the Bannered Mare, because now that we've done the whole Dragonstone um, quest line, if we speak to her, she'll have a, another side quest, which actually is the start of a Daedric quest regarding the Jarl's son. So we might as well get it on board. So let's go Come speak to her. If it's work you need, how Wait about chopping gossip. up some wood? The companions? We know that one. Been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favoured look to them. Hmm. Best to keep clear. Excellent. Okay, so that basically starts the Daedric quest to get the Ebony Blade. Um, it's quite an easy one to do, actually. But for now, um, might as well do this Here, as well. Take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came Sleeping by. Sleeping tree camp. We've just been there. Man. Need anything? Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hit up all the traders. I'm going to call this episode here. And coming up next episode, uh, we might as well, we're going to quickly call in on the Dark Brotherhood, hand in these two quests. And then we're going to go to carry on the um, speaking with silence. Uh, we're going to meet Mercer Fay outside Snowvale Sanctum. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, until then though guys, um, as always, I hope you are enjoying these um, longer episodes. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you are finding the series overall. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to do or you think I could improve. Because, you know, I am doing this for you more than me as well. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all next time. For now though, thanks for watching. Take care and peace. <laughs>